always wondered why nobody did it before me. I mean, all those comic books, movies, TV shows. You'd think that one eccentric loner would have made himself a costume. I mean, is everyday life really so exciting? The schools and offices so thrilling that I'm the only one who ever fantasized about this? Come on, be honest with yourself. At some point in our lives, we all wanted to be a superhero. Created by writer Mark Millar and adapted for the screen by Layer Cake and Stardust director Matthew Vaughn, Kick-Ass started life as a comic book about an ordinary American teenager, Dave Lazuski, who set aside all common sense and tried to become a superhero. And his alter ego, you guessed it, was Kick-Ass. Oh yeah! Didn't see that, did ya? After his first night on the town as a makeshift superhero, Kick-Ass concludes his first official act of heroism by being stabbed repeatedly, battered, bloodied, left for dead, and then struck by an oncoming car. But after a lengthy recovery, Dave Lazuski, aka Kick-Ass, heads right back out onto the street. Foolish, brave, who's to say? But if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Who are you? I'm Kick-Ass. Boosted in popularity by a frequently viewed YouTube video, Kick-Ass soon discovers that he's not the only vigilante out there and that big heroes can sometimes come in small packages. Okay, you cunts. Let's see what you can do now. Eventually paired up with the well-trained, uber-deadly, and pint-sized hit girl, Kick-Ass realizes that his actions have inspired a number of superhero copycats, such as this guy. I am McLovin. Together with Red Mist and Hit Girl, adventures ensue, crime is fought, and blood is shed until a local crime boss appears, leaving Kick-Ass in this precarious situation. <laughs> Kick-Ass is directed by Matthew Vaughn, whose first film was this gritty London gangster film, and whose second film, well, wasn't. Touché. Vaughn, who debuted footage from the film to a rabidly excited crowd at this year's Comic-Con, drew his initial inspiration for the film from his own desire to kick some criminal posterior. I just thought it was a unique concept. It's something that I wanted to be a superhero, you know, so I, I could imagine myself, if I was a bit stupider and braver, doing the same thing, and um, as the lead character. But um, I just knew I could make a film that, I mean, for me, I only want to make movies that I want to go watch. And I read the comic, and I was like, I will go watch this film, so I better go make it before someone else does. With such a bloody, violent, subversive, and need we say, awesome concept, it's fair to say that Kick-Ass just may be the R-rated comic book movie that fans have been waiting for. But will the film truly kick some ass come April 2010? We'll just have to wait and see. Check back with IGN Movies for more on Kick-Ass and get your daily superhero fix, or else end up like this guy. <laughs>